Welcome back to Chippo Fishing. Today we are going to do a quick install, do-it-yourself LED, light them up, glow-in-the-dark lights. So here we go. This is what you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need some acetone. You're going to need to prep your area really well. Now acetone will eat paint, so only do the area that you need not down in here not over in here like that just take a cloth and go over it several times that's gonna be on the exterior so you're gonna need some 3m auto molding tape super strength this is the same width as your led strips now this stuff sticks it really sticks uh, they use it to put automotive chrome molding on. They use it for uh, LED display lights underneath vehicles. Uh, it's the real deal. So you're going to need that. You're going to need a wire power source, either an inverter. I've got an alligator clip. goes to my batteries over here, run out here. I'm going to connect these wires to the LED lights. Shrink wrap it and pull the shrink wrap up inside here and out here so that'll hide that and my light display will start here and run forward i will put the 3m tape down first um, you will need a knife or something to get this red part it's basically a uh, two-sided tape you're going to need a red uh the red tape it, it's hard to get that started but and then you go ahead and put that down on one side just roll it out and get it where it'll stick good press it down and then when you get ready to put your lights on you're going to remove that red tape either all of it or a little part of the time now the the led tape led light actually has a um a backing on itself it says 3m but actually it's just m <laughs> you know go figure so finally got these guys in and here's what this looks like some of them are a white background some of them are the black background it's real basic you've got two wires now some of them have plugs and, and other ones are multicolored where you can change and control it. We're not doing that. We're using green for a purpose for uh, fishing tractors and seeing my line at night. So positive, negative, solder them up, shrink wrap them. And then the other end has similar like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off this is sort of a nice trick here um, I'm gonna oversize it here but I'm gonna put it over one over the positive side over the negative side put it over um, of course I'm gonna cut the wire cut this short I'm gonna fold it put the wire in halfway fold it over and and then shrink wrap it squeeze it and shrink wrap it then I'm going to come with a bigger piece and come over a bigger piece of shrink wrap like this far and come over the top of it. And so your shrink wrap with the wire in is bent over doubled, shrink down, and then the shrink wrap over top of that grabs it like a burrito and holds it there. Okay. So that's it in a nutshell. You're also going to need, if you need to strip your wires, this is my wire stripper for the day. On this small, thin stuff, uh, you know, really don't need to, uh, to break it. It's in short demand, short strand. So, and you're going to need to solder and a solder gun, solder iron, and that's basically it. Now, I was pretty happy with my install fishing last night. Wasn't the best bites, but um, okay, so here you go. I've got the shrink wrap pulled up inside here and it comes out here. Got it tucked in there and runs down to the cable split, goes to the alligator clip. Now then, 
comes down here all the way up front and it does help with visibility it comes up to almost the bow so there you go all right and i will probably be putting a little bit of clear glue on the very end just because this is going to be a permanent permanent fix and that's basically it i'll uh, chime back in and show you a little short little steps but that's about it and you can do it yourself do you do it yourself you know save yourself the money and um, give yourself that extra edge okay i have my tape down that's gone on over a rivet but that's all right we'll make do with that i'm gonna push it down it's always better to do it at eye level instead of leaning under that way you're gonna have a better straighter line so and then i took my knife and started to peel here and i'll peel off the tape and i'll be able to to use the surface so the red tape is 3m is sticky and the outside's hard to get off so you're going to need a knife now your roll is five meters which is 16 foot four inches um uh, that's going to get the majority of my boat but this roll is 15 foot so i'm going to need another another six inches i mean another another foot just about so there we go okay so that's it now i'm gonna solder my connections and i'll be back to show you how i apply it thank you okay i have soldered and shrink wrapped my connection i'm gonna be pulling that up underneath this plate here so it'll be hiding there then i'll run my wire down through here and pull around so yes yeah, so i'll feed that through uh it's sort of difficult getting the wire through here but it's got a little wiggle room and it's gonna be just enough to pull this through and it'll hide it up underneath this plate okay now here's another tip when putting this tape down uh, it just rolls off and sticks there and you're going to peel the red off but in putting this down i like to do uh like a, a 16 18 inches at a time and place that place it exactly where you want it and then peel off 16 18 inches and then do it again that way you're pretty much in a straight line it's not rocket science it doesn't matter and um, so and the same thing for when you're putting your tape down is you want to go ahead and do 16 18 inches at a time and then come back and sort of press down and apply, make sure it applies so the red I'm gonna go ahead and take the tape off now this is something that they won't tell you but right here when you you got to sort of hold hold this let me see if i can do it you got to sort of hold it and peel it off because it's a sticky situation so you got to sort of hold t push it down it's not going to come off once this stuff dries and adheres which is pretty instant but um this outside is is very is dynamite sticky the inside that you just first put down is um, a little more forgiving but it's outside you need to have it it's almost like a, a instant adhere and especially if you work your thumb down the uh, the LED strip like this one here I'm just sort of yeah as I go along I do 16 18 inches and then I'll come back and I'll I'll run over my thumb a couple of times I don't think I'm gonna have any problem 3m not m 3m okay so again you know once you get going but if you see this tape 
the sticky parts start to raise up, that's when you need to stop, go back, and, and press it down again. And again, 16-4 LED strip, uh, tape, supposed to be about 15 foot. So when we get down here to uh, Team Jinko, when we get down here to to the end, and we're going to do the next section, I'll uh, show you how we piece that together. All right, now we're ready to start on our apply. And myself, I was able, luckily, to tuck this in, so I'm going to start here, right here at the corner, just come down, angle down, and give it a start on my run. All right, back more. And again, this is your supposed to be M. <laughs> it's not even a full M. It's, so you know it's not 3M. It's not even a full M. <laughs> it's just a partial M. If a company makes something, they're not going to put part of their name on it. They're going to bother with that. They're going to put their name on it. Just a little insight. So when you order off of eBay, you got to be realistic. You know, it looks good, smell good, don't taste good, but it serves the purpose. These lights, you can get them anywhere from eight to twelve dollars a roll, free shipping, no tax. Um, the more it's actually more expensive getting the 3M tape than the actual LED lights. Okay. Okay, I've started. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead for my ease. And since I'm working alone, just take the roll. And just come on down and empty the roll and put it out in front of my work area. That way it'll be prepped and ready to go. So... There you go. Okay. Now this is how I'm going to work. On this tape, I'm going to probably try to do uh, about a foot at a time. Okay. And again, not rocket scientists. If it ain't exact level, you got 16 foot 4 inches to make it up. Okay, so I'm okay. get you a better view here. I'm going to pull out this backing here. Then, get, I hope you guys can see this. Then I'm going to put it here. And then I'm going to squeegee it with my thumb. Okay, let me show you this one more time again. I'm going to pull out a good foot. Foot, 14, 16 inches. There you go. I'm going to apply it. Right like this on the strip and come back. Okay. Now, it's not much more, but be sure to get the waterproof LED strips. And the waterproof is basically, it's just a silicone coating all the way around it. But it's, um, yeah, they're using submergible lights. It's pretty much waterproof. It's rated at a 65, I believe, is the rating. And if you ever want to cut it, you cut right where the these uh, copper contract strips are. Cut it in the middle there. But for our purpose, we're running it long. We're running it large. Okay, here's another little tip. I had to cut a piece of the backing a little smidgen. This gray here is a tape. So I had to cut a little piece here and then peel off. And then I had to peel this way too. So this this backing is, is a real deal. This is good stuff. Okay, so here I am. I've got it all the way down to here. But I've run out of tape from here, so I know that I'm going to put maybe another foot up here. So just do a guesstimate. Uh, I'm going to say right about this mark right here. 
So there you go. Okay, I got my mark. I'll show you what I'm going to do after I put put it there. Yeah, I put a little stick up here just to make a mark. And um doesn't have to be a special kind of stick. It just be anything. You can draw, draw a line, whatever. But uh, it's better to have a half inch too much than a quarter inch too less. So, you know, again, folks, this is a do-it-yourself LED lights. It's not rocket scientists. You can work for NASA and still do this. So, again, from here to there, yeah, just sort of line it up and let it go. There we go. Should be a problem there. Now then. Okay. The last little bit. Okay. Next. This is going to be a tricky part. Not really. This is where, to finish it up, I was going to show you. I will cut these wires short. We really don't want any, um, any passing of electricity, so I'm just going to cut it short. Hopefully, it won't be any wire sticking out. And just for dramatic purposes, I'm going to put this on. Fold it in half, shrink wrap it, grab it with some pliers or tweezers, shrink wrap it, and then do the same thing for this side. Or really, you can do them together, uh, shrink wrap, shrink wrap, or do them apart, however, it doesn't really matter. Fold them in half, this is a really neat trick. And then open it up, they'll be smaller, and you push this over, cut off about this distance here so actually this piece will be over here or right on the edge here all this will melt together and this piece here is just big enough it'll go over top of this black and it'll seal it all up really nice okay again uh, cut it put on fold it shrink wrap cut it, fold it, shrink wrap it, and this goes over top of both shrink wraps and onto here, and then shrink wrap it on there, and that'll cover it, and it'll be cut off short so that either these little nubs will just be barely sticking out or it'll be right almost even or just overlaps it. But anyway, it's waterproof. Pretty neat idea I saw. All right, thank you. Okay, folks, I'm getting ready to go. come to the end. This is how I'm going to do it. Uh, pay attention because I only do this one time. I mean, I could do it more than once, but only once per set. Now, the deal is I'm going to cut it short. I'm going to go about half my distance of this tube. And again, not rocket science. So I'm going to put it right about here. There we go. Okay, now for more important, uh, under submerged water, you can probably do a, um, put a little bit of silicone in there. But for this purpose, if this thing goes underneath the water where it's at, we're in trouble. So shrink wrap, shrink wrap. Shrink wrap. Do, 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 do. Hey, whoever invented shrink wrap, thank you. This stuff's awesome. Okay, come on, wind. Although the wind was pretty kind last night at uh, Sharon Harris. Yesterday it was howling at 20 gusts. 
And uh, last night it was, it was almost a dead calm. But it got really foggy, which is made for an interesting ride home. Okay, so now we're going to fold these down somewhere like this and just sort of squeeze them together. And then we're going to take a piece, figure out about like that. Again, not rocket science. So somewhere around like that. There we go. I think that's going to be close to perfect because that's what I just did. So... Okay, I'm going to revamp this and fold this so that it is covered, 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 covered. Okay. And again, shrink wrap to the rescue. Now, um, two things. This end, you know, try to close it up if you can. Yeah, you won't really be able to seal it, but it's sealed inside, and the shrink wrap over top of that, over top of the shrink wrap. So, yeah, it's close to sealed. Now, this end here, this is silicone, so, you know, you really don't want to heat up too much. You just get, your, get in. Get your uh, shrink wrap and get out. Standard operating procedure. Okay. So this side here, let me give it a little twist. A little fold in. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Now this end, I'm going to, it'll be on the adhesive. I'm going to apply a little bit my last of the Gorilla Glue. Okay. I uh, use that in making my uh, hand tied jig boxes. All right. Thanks, folks. All right, folks. The moment of truth. Dun, 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 dun. Last night was a success for this side. Let's see if tonight's success will be. Dun 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 LED lights, 8, 10, 15 bucks. This tape, uh, 3M, you're going to need two rolls for one of them. So, if you're going to do both sides of your boat, you're going to need two LED strips. You're going to need three of these. Um, you're going to need a Bic lighter. You're going to need uh, some shrink wrap, various sizes. Uh, so, there you go. That's pretty much it, pocket knife. Um, I'm just out here trying to share the passion, trying to share the knowledge. Hey, I just, I, this is my fourth LED strip I put in. Like I said, when I first time, I was like, if you did this every day, once a week, four or five times, you'd know what, what, what to do. So anyway, hopefully my trial and errors will help you guys out. Let me know. And if you come up with a better thoughts, better ideas, I'm all game. All right. Thanks for joining me again. I appreciate y'all so much. Peace. Do it yourself and get up off that couch.